Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I am just home from a Thursday estate sale and we don't really have a lot of Thursday estate sales but it is my favorite company and sometimes she will do different days of the week and especially in the summer which definitely works for me because I'm pretty much free. It is a very rainy day, um, but knowing that I had this estate sale to go to after work <laughs> made the day pass quickly. But I'm using my Ot light to uh, illuminate the area because if I didn't, this is what I have going on in the room. So this light is definitely wonderful. I invited my coworker to go to the estate sale. She loves to thrift and we've been to thrift stores together. But this estate sale was on the way home from work. So it was so convenient. Um, I spent $15 and I picked up some art supplies and salt and pepper shakers. And then I have a little story time. I know people tell say that they enjoy my stories. So I um, found some, a little bit of vintage Christmas. They had some, but it was mainly painted glass ornaments, which I don't really, you know, collect. But I do like these older candle clips. They're just really handy for creating things. And then having a little clip. You can do a Christmas reflector with a Christmas bulb or ornament and make little clip-on flowers. Different colors for different holidays. So I got five of them and they were $1.50. And then... I got this watercolor pad and this was $1.50 too because the salt and pepper shakers were $6 a piece. I got two and then she just said 15 for everything. So this was a good deal on this watercolor pad. There's about five sheets left in it. I was with my coworker and of course we pick up art supplies and things to create with. And this was downstairs in a box that we almost didn't go through. And I said, oh, you know, I, I really like to look at everything twice just to make sure I don't miss anything. And so we saw this painting, and it was dark in the basement. You know how estate sales are. And she flipped it, and I thought, oh, maybe it's just painted on, like, a canvas panel. But then when I saw the edge, I realized what it was because um, this cover had come off. It's 140-pound watercolor paper. Also, please excuse my nails. We are busy making stuff at school <laughs> oil painting clay all day long acrylic hard to keep everything clean um 140 pound watercolor paper i've never seen anything higher unless it was handmade so this is the highest quality you can get i um i have not bought a watercolor pad like this in years but maybe 15 years ago it was like $50 and it was Arches brand. So this is um, Bien Fang, which I've had lots of art supplies like that. I remember that from my childhood. I've never heard or seen the Hunt Bien Fang, but there was definitely sketches and things that were dated from the 80s. There was a lot of like hand painted ceramic, like molded pieces. So this person definitely just enjoyed making art. So what's nice about these watercolor pads is they are put together on all the edges like a notepad. And when you paint with water on paper, it wants to buckle. So if this is down on um, all the sides, it's going to buckle and warp and wrinkle less. So then when you are finished and ready to take it out and frame it, you have essentially a flat piece of paper. And it's just not the same as painting on just a floating piece of paper or even putting it down with some masking tape, although that can help. This is the best. And when you're done, this is the one spot that doesn't have any of that like notepad adhesive. And even the direction will say, put your palette knife in here. And then that starts to um, just give you, give you that ability to take it off. So when I saw that, I said, oh, there's still good paper. Let's see. So there is at least four or five sheets right there. So I'll pay $1.50 for that. And so, um, you know, my, my coworker and I are polite thrifters, and we just double check that, you know, we're not stealing someone's treasure out from under them. So I said to her, if you don't want it, I'll take it. So she handed it to me. And as uh, she was doing that, she was rewarded with a full brand new one. <laughs> so it always pays to be generous. 
So the salt and pepper shakers and then the story time. Hold on a second. So this was also something that I just double checked with my friend to make sure she, you know, didn't want it. And she said, no, no, you saw them. And she got some other little set. So look at those. They're the little skull nodders. And all the salt and pepper shakers were $6 and less marked otherwise. And I feel like the only other set I saw was marked at eight. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, I had found these salt and pepper shakers that looked like candles and they didn't have like a base to them. But now that I saw these at the estate sale, brand new in the box, I realized they should have had like one of those little things that you put your finger in. And, um, I think $8 in the box was a great deal. I paid a dollar at the yard sale. Um, and so I just couldn't believe that these weren't you know, marked higher. The only other set I feel like she was marking higher was some mermaids and they were like looking them up on eBay to see like a comparable price. So these, this lady collected salt and pepper shakers. They said there were nine boxes of them. These are in perfect condition and they are so awesome. So I wish this sticker wasn't on there. I could take it off, but I don't know. I'll leave it on because I do like stalactites and stalagmites. Um, there isn't a chip or anything. And look at that iridescent, like drip glaze. The gold accents, they need rhinestone eyes though. <laughs> and then on the bottom, they are marked Japan. Probably like a novelty company or something like that. So when I brought them home, my mom said, this will be perfect for Halloween. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the lady obviously collected salt and pepper shakers. She didn't use like her collectibles. Is that great? And it's so interesting. Well, now I got two story times, but we are doing a skeleton unit at school and um, the kids have a choice. They can do the skeleton or they can, they have a couple other choices. And I felt that even the kids who didn't do like the full body skeleton were still doing the skeleton some way in uh, their other choices. And then I realized I was because I had just sculpted like the top um, of the vanity jar so I will definitely share a picture of that or like a couple process pictures of me doing that because uh, I didn't take video at school. But I know I had mentioned earlier that when I picked up all those empty vanity jars that I was going to make lids for them. So I got my first one done today and it's a skull. And then I found a skull set. Now, just wait for this. I can't believe this is going to be the longest haul video with only four items, but there's stories and art sharing. So this set, and this is funny because I don't think my friend has gone to a lot of estate sales. Yeah, this makes sense because when we were looking at the tool bench, she said, this is so strange, like being in someone's house, like looking at all their stuff. And I was like, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> and then I realized maybe she hasn't gone to a lot of estate sales. So she said, are we ready to go? And I said, I always go back in each room a second time to see what I missed. And they were already or still putting out salt and pepper shakers when we were walking there an hour after the sale started. Well, look at what she spied when we walked up out of that basement into the kitchen. I kid you not. And these might be the original box that they came in, but there's no like label, although I have to look at it. And again, like perfect condition. And I said to her, I said, do, do you want them? And she said, no, I just said they were cute. And I, cause I think she knows I'm a Christmas fanatic. Sticker on the bottom. So I guess it's like a little like burnt marshmallow maybe. I don't know. These things are so adorable. Look at those faces. And so the box says candy, cane, salt and pepper, $1. And I can see that there's markings here, like Japan. And the woman kept all of the boxes. 
for her salt and pepper shakers. So this might even be the original box. All right, nothing else in there. Oh my goodness. I, Christmas and Halloween, what I like to collect. <gasps> oh. Okay, so here is the story time, if I even have any time left in this video. On, <clears throat> let me get my days right, Thursday, okay. Wednesday morning, I had a dream about my coworker that there was this tied up bag, like a, like a grocery store bag by my desk that had fabric in it. And I noticed that it was moving. <laughs> I noticed that it was moving. And I thought, oh my gosh, is there a mouse in there? And I opened, untied it and opened it. And in it was the smallest little cat. And there were th three ceramic cat figurines that my friend had, my coworker had made, and they were turning into real cats. And I said, you said you wanted more cats. Here, take your cats. <laughs> so that was Wednesday morning. And I woke up and I thought, oh my gosh, what a funny dream. I have to look at the time and then tell my friend about this dream. And I looked, it was four in the morning. So it was the, the same day. So I see her a couple of hours later at work, like literally three hours later. <laughs> and I tell her about this dream. And she said, well, you know, we are getting a new cat on Friday. Well, I knew that. And I said, well, I, my dream, you were getting three cats. <laughs> so I come home, I look on the internet, I see that there is this estate sale that's close, you know, on our way home from work. And I text her at like eight o'clock last night and said, there's an estate sale after school tomorrow, do you wanna go? And she responds, yes, and I gave her some details and that was that. So now it's Thursday, we see each other at work, the day's over, we leave, we drive there, and they have all of these, you know, ceramic salt and pepper shakers and figurines, and she finds a pair of little boxing cats that she's like, are those boxing cats? And she's like, I love these. And everybody was commenting about how cute they were. And then we were just chatting with the lady who owns the company, and I said, oh my gosh, because the lady who owns the company also used to have a thrift store and a donation place and the profits she would give to the animal shelter. So they just had that love of animals. And I said, the dream, the three cats and two ceramic cats and one real cat, two ceramic salt and pepper shaker cats. And then the real one that she's getting tomorrow. I was like, oh my goodness because the two ceramic ones hadn't changed. They were just ceramic. And then the other one had, she goes, you had a premonition. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed that. Story. That is the salt and pepper shaker that I'm talking about. And I used them in this sculpture. So the sets that she had, she had two. Um, and they would just have like the little brass colored base with the little circle handle that you'd put your finger in um, to look like a candle in, I don't know, a candle holder. And the other set was brand new in the box with everything. And it actually had like red, green, and white toppers to change them out. So this sale normally does like 50% off the next day and then a $5 fill a bag. So I might stop by again. Um, because for four dollars a set, I'm sure they'll be gone, but it's worth it to, to stop by because I feel like that would be a great deal. So that is my small haul and story time. I am going to do some collaging right now, but I hope you enjoyed seeing those things. Hopefully I'll have another thrift haul from this weekend. I don't know what's in store though. And I will leave you with a picture of a doll that I did not purchase, but if it's there on 50% off day, I probably will. Have a good one. Bye.